Formic acid has a Ka of 1.8 times 10 negative fourth. What is the H3O concentration in a solution that is initially 0.1 molar formic acid? All right, we are going to set up a reaction table showing a general acid, HA, reacting with water in equilibrium to create some H3O plus and some, in this case, H or just A minus. All right, initially we have 0.1 molar formic acid, which is our weak acid. We're going to ignore the water since this is an acid. This is 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh, and this is zero. So because of that zero, we assume our reactants go down and our products go up. So at equilibrium, we have 0 0.10 minus x, 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh plus x, and this is x. And our Q for this equation has our H3O plus and our A minus all over HA and we're going to plug some things in so equilibrium this is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh plus X and X all over 0 0.10 minus X now it's completely solvable like this um, it's actually, in this case, turns out to be not that bad. But as you remember, on our weak acids, we can generally make a couple um, assumptions. For instance, we can almost always assume that this concentration mathematically will be still close to what it started out, so still 0.1. And we can also assume that this goes to just x because the, turns out the 1 times 10 to the negative 7th is so small we can uh, just ignore it. Now we will check those, but it does make this math a heck of a lot easier. Because this will just be x and x, and this will just be 0.1. So, let's see what we get if we do this. So, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth times 0.1 and then take the square root of that. I get an x of 0 0.00424. Alright, now uh, technically, we need to compare that to the two things we assumed. So first, I'm going to make sure it is very small compared to the point 0.1. And I can actually do that by just looking at the number and seeing that it's very small. Or, just to be sure, divide it by that point 0.1 and see that that would actually have introduced only about a 4% error. And then the other thing we're going to do is compare it to the 1 times 10 to negative 7th. And we're going to divide that value we got there from that and see that that is, um, well, even times 100, that's 0.0002% error probably. So that is a safe assumption. It's not perfect on our calculation, but it's going to be close enough to get us the, um, um, what do we want in this? The H3O concentration. So our H3O concentration is going to be that 0.00424. Now my answer key will probably have that slightly different, and that's simply because on my answer key, I probably went ahead and solved this uh, uh, polynomial completely.